uh, found us another project car here. What's the story, it, Morning Glory? What do you got? What a project it is. It's a 1977 <laughs> Chevy El Camino, and uh, apparently this fourth generation El Camino is not a very popular model. Um, very hard to find parts for, but we're going to talk about you know you what got, you, you can do. You got a solution yep, for we that. Got solutions which is for cool. that. Um, it it kind of came into being. I wasn't really looking for a '77 Chevy El Camino, but uh, a guy about a mile and a half down the road was at the parts store with it, and I said, "Hey, that's kind of cool. What are you gonna do with that?" And he said, "Nothing. I'm gonna sell it to you." <laughs> there you go. So I wound up with a 1977 Chevy El Camino. Um, after that, we started looking for parts for it because mechanically it's in very good shape, runs and drives really good, but the body is in really bad shape. So. So I think there's a great lesson out of this, which is. You know, we, we've talked previously about finding a car for which you can readily find parts. Yes. In this case, <laughs> you're diverging a little bit from that. It, you, we backed into it. Yeah, yeah and, <laughs> but it's because of the heritage of the car right. for this particular fellow you got it from. You want to do the you yeah. want to do the upgrades on it. Right. So we're going to provide the lessons on how to work around the fact that you can't and readily find and body parts to be clear. Body it's parts, not, yeah. Mechanically, you can find. I mean, it's a Chevy 350. You can find anything you need for the engine. The the running gear is pretty common for you know all these late 70s Chevys. So mechanically, you can find just about anything you need. But body wise, it's going yeah, to take it's, a little. It's, uh, it, yeah, you have to you have to do some digging. Now, speaking of engine work, what's that shiny thing in your hands, man? Well, like I say, mechanically it was in good shape, but it, it needed valve cover gaskets. Okay, the valve cover gasket, the oil's leaking out of the valve cover gaskets. So, <clears throat> is that a problem? It, well, it <laughs> smells a little bit funny, but the best way to make an engine look like it runs better and to look like it has more horsepower is to put a little chrome on it. So, since we're going to take the valve covers off, put new valve cover gaskets on, we're going to dress it up a little bit. We're going to put the uh, chrome valve covers and a chrome air cleaner on it. And then, and then we'll uh, talk about pressure washing the engine compartment and stuff. Clean it so up we're right. going to have the opportunity on this El Camino, a little bit of engine work, but yeah. realistically not much, yeah. but some great creative work on the body. Now, in addition to the El Camino for this, we've got, uh, we got a 56 Chevy we're going to yep, work on. And the 56 Chevy 150 is back. Uh, we're going to do some upgrades to that. Um, here again, that's a driver, so we're, it's a resto mod is the, by definition. You know, it's basically taking the silhouette, the classic silhouette of the 1956 Chevy and putting modern technology into it so we can make it, I don't know, just a better driver. Yeah, yeah, so. some cool upgrades to that. All right, yeah. uh, should we get to work and quit jabbering? I think we should. Let's make it happen. 